Hi guys, Noah Carr speaking with Iowa Fire Control here. We're going to speak a little bit about nozzle blow off caps on vehicle fire suppression systems today. Uh, doing a series of videos here talking about the different components in vehicle fire suppression systems, um, how important it is that many of them are checked, inspected um, on a regular basis. Um, many things have to be inspected on a daily basis, monthly basis, semi annual basis, and uh, on, uh, on a 12 year hydrostatic test interval for tanks and things like this. So we're trying to focus on, uh, on several pieces. Nozzle blow off caps, um, a cheap part and uh, sometimes forgot about piece of a vehicle fire suppression system. Be it on an older style dry chemical or a new style wet chemical, the nozzle blow off cap is an important part of the vehicle fire suppression system. The reason, um, so those nozzles that everybody knows have different discharge patterns, some have a cone, some have a have a V, different things like that. And so those are designed for the hazard that's presented. This is the piece that protects that nozzle so that when that system discharges, this nozzle blows off that blow off cap and then discharges onto that hazard. Many times these nozzles are forgotten about. These need to be changed on an annual basis, many times even, even more often than that, dependent on the vehicle that, that it's on. So um, these caps should be blown off every six months at a test. And so if you go for simple, another thing, so what we do when we come and do a semi-annual maintenance is we'll go ahead and make sure that all of these are fastened on. If there's, there's none of these um, off or if we find any are off, well, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll discharge the system through nitrogen or dry air, um, not, with a, not with an actual cartridge, um, but we'll actually hook up to the union um, on the tank and then we'll go ahead and blow through all that distribution line to make sure that it's clear and then also to check that nozzle blow off cap that it's actually being removed from the nozzle correctly so that when the system discharges we're going to make sure that the fire is put out. Many times you'll see these uh, nozzle caps that get warped and beaten up and scraped and, and things like that. One of the inherent problems with vehicle fire suppression systems is the vehicle is always moving and so it's coming in contact with whatever um, materials that it, it comes in contact with on a regular basis and you're just you're moving air and wind and, and, uh, and foreign materials and things like that and you have a tendency to blow these off. Um, these are the, the first line of defense against those nozzles being damaged. So it's very important on a simple quick check on your machine, if you were to see a nozzle on that vehicle fire suppression unit and you saw that it was hanging off, it was removed, whatever it might be, make sure you call your fire suppression, uh, fire protection coordinator. So again, the nozzle caps are so very important, pretty darn cheap to have someone make sure they're replacing those every single semi-annual maintenance. If you have a company that's doing your semi-annual maintenance and they're not ever charging you for a blow-off cap, um, find out if that's because they don't charge anything for those blow-off caps or if it's because they don't actually do it and, and they need to. So again, when you're doing those, those pre-checks pre on your vehicles, it's one of those simple things that you can look for. Um, sometimes, you know, this is nice because it's orange, but lots of times they're going to get covered in crud. Um, but again, if you're having that, that system maintenance on a six-month basis, then they, they should be either getting cleaned or at least replaced annually because all the manufacturer lays out that any kind of this type of rubber blow-off cap has to be replaced on an annual basis. Thanks again for joining us at Iowa Fire Control. Check us out at www.iowafirecontrol.com. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. We want to make sure that the topics that we're talking about are relevant to the, the things that you guys are thinking about. Thanks again.